gracious, merciful God. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Uh, greetings from the Federal Republic of Nigeria to you, Rockefeller, and to all your fans all over the world. Uh, now, here it is. Leadership in Nigeria have not learned how to win in the game of giving back to the people. Let us be manifest, crystal clear. In every democracy in the world, leaders are elected, not installed. Nigeria is not and will not be the exception. The people must decide who their leaders are. Nigerians and the Nigerian people and all leadership must turn pain and poverty to progress and prosperity. Most times, it takes the great sacrifice of one person, like Rockefeller, like Tony Oyatero, to change the destiny of many for good. The poor people of Nigeria are not asking for a luxurious life from the leadership. They are only asking for a normal life. The fundamental question is, is that too much to ask the leadership? Here it is. Every economy in the world depends on population growth for goods and services. In Nigeria, mm, when you kill all those who are to make your economy prosper, who will be there to grow your economy? That is the question for leadership and the people of Nigeria to ponder. Perchance they will come up with an answer. History is always shaped by individual actions and characters, not large crowds. I remember the saying in the scripture by Jesus Christ, Anabisa in Arabic, many are called, a few are chosen. Millions upon millions of Nigerian youths today, unemployed, jobless, broke, hungry and angry. That brings us to the song of Robert Nesta Mali, Bob Mali, which says, the belly fool, but we hungry. An hungry man is an angry mob. Hence, we are calling on businesses, big and small. You can help the government and solve the security crisis in Nigeria. The federal government alone cannot do it alone. Let us all Rockefeller, Tony Oyatero, and all of us listening over the radio, join hands and put an end to this crisis for good. Uh, this will bring an end to poverty and hunger and find ways for people in Nigeria mm, to live together in peace that brings security and prosperity. That also brings us to the song of the mega superstar, Sonny Okusun. Together, we shall live forever. In closing, in Nigeria today, it is now time for ordinary individuals of all tribes, ethnicities, religion, and political parties to go to extraordinary lengths for work to bring peace that brings security and prosperity. Our fervent hope and prayer is... May Almighty God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Rocky Fella, for that. Wow. Doctor? Yes. Only an introduction of yourself. Uh, you blew me off completely. Thank you. So I Thank don't you. know how I'll be able to handle you because um, this conversation is going to take upwards of an hour. We're not going to stop until 3 o'clock. That's fine. When I was introducing you, I said you were privileged to meet great musicians, Robert Nestor Mali, Peter Tosh, and Sonny Okosun. You didn't yes. really meet Sonny Okosun, you're the sister's wife. Yes. So you I'm the sister's husband. Her sister's uh, husband. Yes. Imagine me. And maybe uh, that's okay. I can tell because you of what you just said, yeah. yeah I know. You know, maybe because maybe, maybe since you live in America, I may have thought that you're gay. <laughs> because maybe such marriage is allowed in America. No, 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 no not, not the man of God. Uh, tell me, surprisingly, they have banned 
abortion that have approved yeah. same sex marriage in your country of America? Oh, well, uh, to each his own, we are not going to discuss that today. Today, we are going to be talking about uh, great musicians whom we have had the privilege of meeting. Mm -hmm. In our rendezvous with destiny, we have come across great men and women and presidents and leaders of this world. Uh, we are lucky to have met Robert Nessa Marley, Bob Marley, in Oakland, California, years ago. Also, very, very privileged to have met Peter Tosh. And like you rightly said, uh, we know the great mega superstar, Sonia Okosu, even before I met the younger sister and got married to her. Uh, so we are very privileged to have met great men and women all over the world. So, Tony uh, Oyatero, you, you'll have to tell me what you know about um, Sonia Okosu. What manner of man was Sonny Okosu? What, what were the things that did that distinguished him? Because I understand he didn't have particular, particularly he wasn't um, someone who was cut out for education. To the extent that he could not have boasted for or boasted of um, intimidating credentials relative to school, but he did he did songs that um, even musicologists have have not been able to to describe. Well. All the great ones have what we call in the scripture unmerited favor. Mm, unmerited favor. Michael Jackson did not go to school. Unmerited favor. Robert Nesta Marley, Bob Marley, was studying to be a vulcanizer, working as a vulcanizer, training as a vulcanizer, and giving unmerited favor to sing revolutionary songs and peaceful songs all over the world. Peter Tosh, the same thing. The list goes on. Everywhere God will always pick people that you will not expect to be great in life. Uh, no blasphemy intended. Uh, can anything good come from Bethlehem, Nazarene? Uh, but those are the people that God always picks out and gives them unmerited favor. Mm. So w w were you privileged to, to see him write certain songs? So what, what were the things that inspired him to write songs? Absolutely. Here was a man that normally writes his songs late in the night. All right. And uh, the unmerited favor given to Sonny Okoso and the likes, uh, the, 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 the motivation comes from emancipation, liberation, to liberate people all over the world, most especially black people all over the world, Africans in general, but Nigeria in particular. That's what gives Sonny Okoso the motivation to write those classical and wonderful timeless songs that we listen today in the world. Okay, this might be a personal question. Wasn't it the cause of uh, visiting him at his home that he met the sister? Or <laughs> fascinating question, but I, I, I'll tell you what uh, a lot of people are not aware of. This is a real, this is personal and secret, but uh, since you asked the question, it's good, so we'll be open out there because right now I am an open book. There is no secret about me. Uh, I actually knew Sonny Okosu before I met the sister. And actually, when I met the sister and was talking with her, uh, she had a T-shirt on with Sonny Okosu Ozidi uh, picture in the front. And I said, oh, this is my favorite musician. And she says, it's my brother. And I rolled my eyes. I said, yes, you're right. Your brother indeed. She said, okay, if you don't believe me, uh, come tomorrow. Uh, she didn't want to give me their house address. But for this very reason, to prove me right with certainty, she gave me the house address and told me, okay, when you come, you'll see my brother doing rehearsals with his band members in my house. And lo and behold, I did. And the rest, as they say, is history. Wow. Mm. And since he had already loved Sunny Okosu, and here was a younger yes. sister, so the thing became double fold. Yes, 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 yes. Marriage made in heaven. Yes. You, you couldn't hold back your emotions. 
Yes, I couldn't. So when you said something, what was the first thing you said to her? And did she reject her? And did she try to do what ladies do? Or did she just say yes to you at first hour? Well, well every lady that you get married to, I give you a secret today that will shock people all over the world. Every lady falls in love with you first before you fall in love with them. But because we are because we are men, we think in an arrogant way, we don't humble ourselves. So the woman likes you first before you like her and before she says yes. But people think it's the other way around. And, uh, and although they will not tell you yes at first, okay, just not to look cheap, but they in their heart likes you first before you like them. Doctor, I have been properly tutored. I didn't know this up, up, up to this moment. Please, when you get home, ask your wife. She will give you the secret. She will tell you yes, precisely. I never knew until now. So thank you for yes. this lecture. Yes. And uh, Sunny Okosun did such lovely songs that they uh, even caught the attention of the highly regarded Dr. Nelson Mandela. Yes. Most of Sunny Okosun's songs, I give you another information that your fans will enjoy worldwide. Sonny Okosun's song, Papa's Land, is what liberated South Africa. Sonny Okosun's song, Papa's Land, is what the former president of Liberia, President Samuel Kanyon Do, and all his armed forces personnel were playing before they became, before Samuel Do became head of state. And so, in Liberia, as we are playing uh, uh, songs on radio to open the radio stations, it's the record of Papa's Land that they play in Liberia to open the radio station and the TV station for a long while. So these were songs that gave all these leaders meanings, and uh, they could not help but fall in love with Sonny Okosu. And the particular one that strikes me that gets into my into my into my head like um, sweet wine is the the one he 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 dedicated to Nelson Mandela the one yeah the one he gave to Nelson Nelson Mandela I'm trying to remember the lyrics of that song okay let me see what I can I can play that song for you you should be able to know the song much more than I do no problem this wouldn't be it let me see what he can do the the one I'm talking about no problem at all okay. This should be the song I'm looking for. It is Weep No More, Nelson Mandela. Weep No More, you must, you must surely rise again. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nelson Mandela, weep no more. You must surely rise again. Yes. The song is here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're still tuned to Radio Archive of 90.5, and we're paying tribute today, especially to Robert Nesta Mali, whose death anniversary comes up tomorrow. But since my guest, Tony Oyatido, had the privilege of meeting all three, Peter Tosh, Sonny Okusun, and Bob Mali, we just decided to be doing a few things regarding them today. So, um, oh, Tony Oyatido, you just listened to that one there by Sonny Okusun and dedicated to the great Nelson Mandela. Yes, yes, yes. And as I was listening while you we were playing it, and the thoughts came to my mind, and I keep saying, what a man. For God so loved the world, no blasphemy intended. For God so loved Nigeria that he gave Nigeria Sonny Okosu, wonderful songwriter and musician and entertainer. Mm. Okay, and uh, I know that uh, he was very friendly with uh, Peter Tosh. Incidentally, all three ha of them are dead. Yes. Uh, to the extent that Peter Tosh even lived with them for about two or so months, and uh, were, were you aware that uh, Peter Tosh was in uh, the Okosun's uh, family house for a while? Yes, I do. I do. Very well. Uh, he was very close to Peter Tosh and Bob Marley, as a matter of fact. All three of them were close together. In fact, uh, Bob Marley was planning to do a song with Sonny Okosun before Bob Marley passed. Uh, Peter Tosh also, if I recall, was getting ready to record a song at EMI Records those days with Sunil Koso. And yes, they all came, believe it or not, they all always come and pay homage to Sunil Koso. And again, of all the artists all over the world, that Fela Anikula Bukuti, my good friend, likes the most, you will not believe it, was Sunil Koso. And they always talk together and jam together. So these were very good musicians, and uh, ironically, they all left in the month of May. 
Except Peter Tosh, who left in the month of September. Yes, no, yes, yes, yes. It's painful. It's painful. Very painful. Okay, and I understand that um, uh, uh, Peter Tosh wrote the song "Mama Africa" in uh, Sonia Okoson's house, and it yes, yes, to, yes, uh, yes, it did. Yes, yes, it did. Yes, it did. "Mama Africa" was written in Sonia Okoson's house uh, in Aguda, Surulere, Lagos. Okay, so let's talk again after the song "Mama Africa" by Peter Tosh, dedicated to the mother of Sonia Okoson. Thank you. Great piece of song there by Peter Tosh. Yes. Mama Africa, dedicated to the mother of Sonny Okosun. And uh, you, you, you met Sonny Okosun's mother. Yes, you did. Of course, of course. It's my mother in law, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what, what kind of mother in law was Mama Okosun's? Mother-in-law, yes, but not just a mother-in-law, but actually she was a mother to me uh, because I lost my mother uh, in 1970, January 14, two days before the Civil War ended in Nigeria. Hence, uh, Sonia Okosun's mother and the mother of my wife took me in as a mother, so I never looked on her as my mother-in-law, I looked at her as my mother, and she never looked at me also as a son-in-law, but their son. Mm. And a wonderful woman. Doctor, there's this one I heard through the grapevine. I do not know whether you can confirm or disagree with it. Yeah. But there was a time that, okay, when Peter Tosh came to Nigeria, he needed to see Fela. Yes. And he went to Fela's place with uh, Sonny Okosun, but uh, Fela was always in the habit of combing his hair. He could take several hours to comb his hair. So all the time that, though he didn't have hair on his head, but he was always combing his hair. So all the time that Peter Tosh was there waiting for Fela, he never came out of the house until Peter got angry and left. And he had this complaint that um, some people were after him in Jamaica, so he needed some black magic to be able to fortify himself, and he was taken to Sonny Okosun's very village. Are you aware of that? Well, we, we are not going to uh, dignify uh, such rumors and statements with comments, uh, because right now we have uh, gone through a lot of stuff and we have transformed into what we are now, preaching with the three holy books, and so we're not going to be talking about native doctors and jazz and charms and all that. But uh, what I can truly say is this, there is a time and purpose for everything. That was then and this is now. Peter Tosh was very close to Sonny Okosun, that I can confirm. But whatever relationship or rumors we had then with my very good friend, Fela and Nicola Bukuti, I'm not going to take issues with that for now. Uh, so we'll just yes, leave that. That comes up tomorrow. And at the other end is Tony Oyatel, are you? Tony Oyatel, you, you, you met Bob Marley in Massachusetts, right? Uh, a great privilege to have met uh, uh, Robert Nestor Marley, Bob Marley, actually not in Massachusetts, but in Oakland, California, uh, where he performed live, and uh, after the show, we met him backstage. Okay. And um, would, you, would you know what inspired him, like um, Sonny Okosun, like Peter Tosh? He's not yes. going to school. Where, 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 where did they draw the inspiration from? Okay, you said... Um, Unmerited favor. Yes. So that song, uh, Zimbabwe, was written to liberate Zimbabwe. Uh, so it was a liberation song for Zimbabwe before Zimbabwe got their independence. Okay. And uh, Bob, just at the age of 36, I said the time is that he died in 1981, he had, he had recorded so much achievement. Yes. Uh, that's another thing we want to tell the youths in Nigeria. Age is nothing but a number. And so no matter how young you are, God Almighty has given you an unmerited favor to have a talent that you can use for the entire world to see. Someone like Robert Nestor Marley, Bob Marley, those of us who were close to him, who know him, we always call him Robert, uh, but the whole world call him Bob Marley. So Robert Nestor Marley, 
giving unmerited favor to write huge breakthrough songs, songs to liberate people all over the world, most especially, I say, Africans in general. And so that's what gives him the motivation to write songs, to see his people be free. That what we are doing now in Nigeria, our massive campaign for peace all over Nigeria, is going on because of love and country. So when you have that, you will be motivated to do more and more to see your people free, liberated, emancipated. It's Radio Akwai from 90.5, and I'm privileged to be speaking to Tony Oyatado, who had been a radio DJ for quite a number of years before he decided to shift base to the United States. It's not just, he has not only been a broadcaster, a radio DJ, he's currently a preacher, he's an author, and in 2005, I remember he wrote a book called Leadership. Yes. We're going to come to that. And Thank I you. I'll open a phone line so that um, I think listeners would like to speak to you, and I should be sure you'd like to fill their questions. Absolutely. It would be an honor to do that with them. I can do one more song by Bob Marley. Then we transition there by Robert Nesta Marley, who died at the age of 36, yes. 1981. And I understand there was this ring that was given to him by the son of Rasafari McConnell. Mm. Yes, I'm aware of that, but I don't know what that ring actually signifies. Uh, but uh, Robert Nesta Marley, what a great, phenomenal, gifted artist and entertainer. You've got to see him perform live to really appreciate him more than just listening to his songs. Uh, so we were privileged to see him perform live. It's something we will never, ever forget. Well, I hear um, the Prince Alpha Wilson, first son of Rastafari McConnell, gave him that ring as a, as a mark of love, and Bob Marley mm -hmm. took that, room, that, that ring out of his finger, not even for a second. Wow. To, to the extent that the day he died, certain items were put in the coffin for him, a marijuana mm -hmm. cord, a holy bible, a football, and that ring given. We're moving on. You're still tuned to Radio Acquired 90.5, the program of the air is afternoon ride, and we're paying tribute to Robert Nesta Marley. Not just him, we're paying tribute to three people today, Robert Nesta Marley, Peter Tosh and Sonny Okosin. That's because the person who is at the other end, our guest today, knew all these three people we are talking about. And incidentally, Sonny Okosin's death anniversary is going to be on the 24th of this month. So we'll also do a whole lot on Sonny Okosin. To Radio Acquire from 90.5, the radio's radio, uh, passes the future for the radio sessions. And we're having at the other end, Tony Oyatilo, who is our guest today. We're paying tribute to the threesome. Robert Nesta Marley, Peter Tosh, and uh, Sonny Okosun. And uh, yes, Doctor, you can still go ahead and be telling us about um, the book, The Leadership. Yes, the book Leadership, uh, you can get it all over the world, and uh, we don't like to do adverts here and there, but you can get it online. You can go to various online services, Amazon, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. But now, inside this very book, Leadership, I wish Every Nigerian should read this book, and then all this crisis, all what is going on in Nigeria will come to a screeching halt. Because everything we wrote about in the book, we did not just complain, because we are not in the complaining business, we are in the solution business. There is also a, a chapter of the book that is dedicated to solutions for the problems of Nigeria. So Nigeria... You don't have challenges, you have problems. And God, in his infinite mercy, will always produce solutions for every problem. And the solution is here. Our fervent hope and prayer is that each and every one listening to this great program, hosted by Rockefeller all over the world, will get the book, Leadership, and read it and understand that we do not have problems. I mean, we do not have challenges. We have solutions. And then all the crises that we are having in Nigeria today, all the agitations, left, right, and center, and back and forth, will come to an end. We are all created by Almighty God, created in His image, and created to walk for peace and love. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. 
It did not say love your neighbor because they are Jewish, a Christian, or Muslim. It simply says love your neighbor as you love yourself. And then the most important one I want all Nigerians to hear. Thou shalt not kill. Period in the Ten Commandments, in the Torah, in the Sharia. So we are hoping and praying that all Nigerians must live in peace and enjoy this great nation created by Almighty God. Well, Doctor, I'm afraid we do not seem to have ample time. The calls have been coming through. I'll just take one call now and we'll be getting ready to call it quits. Well, Dr. Tony Oyatara, I think you have to give us your pieces of advice. Any person listening to you now, what would you want to tell the person? My piece of advice to each and everyone listening to me right now is to repeat precisely what the sinless one, Prince of Peace, uh, Jesus Christ, and Isa in Arabic said to each and every one of us, Christian, Muslim, Jewish. Peace be still. So Nigeria, peace be still. All over Nigeria. Thank you for a wonderful job today, Rockefeller. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Tony Oyatelo, for having given me the privilege of uh, speaking to you on the radio. I only have been hearing you from a distance. You can imagine how I feel that I, I, I have the honor of uh, speaking directly to you today. So you take good care of yourself, and please, doctor, don't have any reason to look down on any person except you're ready to pick the person up. Amen. <laughs> okay.